Bitcoin miners have made an absolute killing in the past two weeks. And in today's video, I'm going to break this all down and I'm going to talk about the miner economy and what miners have been doing for Bitcoin and how that potentially affects the Bitcoin price. Now, Bitcoin has had kind of a rough week. It's been down over six and a half percent. We're seeing a little bit of a Sunday bounce today, but it really depends upon what is going to be going on this week. And there are some important events going on for Bitcoin as well. I'm going to cover that in the back half of this video. My name is Cody the Coin Raptor, and I'm going to first start off with the hash price. So hash price, okay, a combination of multiple factors. You have network difficulty, price, block subsidies, and transaction fees. Now, what we've seen right here, I've set it to terahashes, is a massive spike here at about the 8th of May, so about a week ago. And the last time it was this high was back in June of 2022. You guys may remember that that was the collapse of Terra Luna and a massive slide in Bitcoin prices. So it hit that high before coming back down again. So what this is trying to show is that during this period, I'd say of about a couple of days, Miners were making some pretty insane money. Right now, at the peak, it was about $0.12. Cents. And again, this is at a, a terahash per second per day. They were earning this amount of money on average. And so the reason for this was the fact that the Bitcoin network was really congested. And so if we take a look at our transaction total, moving all the way up here, we have a huge increase in the number of transactions over the last couple of weeks, and that has led to an extreme congestion in the Bitcoin market. In fact, Binance put out on Twitter that they had the massive number of uh, withdrawal transactions still pending, and they had to actually increase the number of uh, the, they had to increase the fees in order to ensure that those transactions would get picked up by mining pools. That's part of the reason why we saw such a massive increase in that hash price. And if you look at the Bitcoin fees, we can see that there's this, this massive spike up. And then we've seen kind of a return to normalcy for the Bitcoin fees. I know personally, last couple of days, I've been sending Bitcoin transactions and they've cost me about $10, which is a little unusual. That's probably the most I've paid for Bitcoin transactions in some time. And if we take a look at the one year, in fact, you can see how 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 much of out of the ordinary this actually was. And back in the majority of the last year, we haven't seen transaction fees quite to this high. Now, I don't really think that this is going to continue. I think that we're going to wind up coming back down to normal. But if you kind of take a look at it in the grand scheme of things, the transaction fees for that brief period of time were just insane. And miners were making a ton of money. In fact, if we take a look at our miner, uh, we take a look at the network hash rate, we can see that the network hash rate has been uh, near an all-time high, very close to actually pushing above it. Right now, it's sitting at about 355 exahashes. And if we zoom out and just look at a five-year chart, we can see that it's been sitting close to the all-time high and continues to increase despite the fact that there's an incredible amount of FUD in the market and the bear market, and it just continues to power on. Now, miners are adding more and more rigs. They're bringing more and more rigs online. The mining economy right now is incredibly strong and incredibly profitable for many of these miners. And if the miner economy is good, that is an absolutely good economy for Bitcoin itself. Now, the Bitcoin price has been very volatile the past couple of days. What we've seen here is a massive decrease in the Bitcoin price, again, coming down from about 29K, and then finally bouncing here at about 26, and then recovering after just a wicked looking candle here to the downside, massive downwards wick. Now what we're seeing is a bit of support here at 26.7. That was previously a strong support on the way down. Now it seems that it, as soon as it broke that resistance point, now it's becoming strong support again. And what we have here is that incredible 27K is now resistance point 
So coming down, it was strong support. Now coming back up again, now it's strong resistance. And we're starting to see Bitcoin kind of hit its head on that level. Now, there are really important events going on this week that could impact the Bitcoin price. If we go ahead and take a look at our economic calendar for uh, MarketWatch, what we're seeing here is we have a number of Fed presidents that are speaking. Those can always impact the market, the larger market as a whole, and trickle down to Bitcoin as well. There's also uh, things like Home Builder Confidence Index on Tuesday, uh, more Fed presidents speaking throughout the week, and then you also have jobless claims on Thursday. And then the big one, I think, for the week is going to be Fed Chairman Powell speaking at 11 a.m. on a panel. That's going to be Friday. Again, these are in Eastern time. Now, that could potentially wind up moving the market dramatically, depending on what he says, especially if they're very hawkish, then we could see a move downwards. And if they're even just a little bit dovish and they even talk a little bit about the potential of a pause in interest rates, we could see a big spike in the Bitcoin price as uh, that information would be very good for Bitcoin and the crypto market as a whole. All right, so I'm going to be covering more, most of these events this week, and I'm going to be talking about some more chart TA as well as we get through the rest of the week. So if you guys are interested in that information, be sure to go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Twitter for the most up-to-date information. I definitely appreciate it, and I appreciate uh, you guys coming out and leaving comments that way we can kind of discuss, if you want to discuss, about the Bitcoin price and what we expect from Bitcoin this week. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Hope you guys have a fantastic Mother's Day. This is Cody the Coin Raptor, and I will catch you guys on the next video.